What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we got the custom Kratos in the house. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. I don't know the name of the company that made this, but uh, Jupiter, that is, holy, I will get this. That was on there. Good, Jupiter. Right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't know the name of the company. I'll look at the bottom of the base to see if I can see it. But this is a custom Kratos 1 4th. I bought this for a few reasons. I've always loved this statue. Uh, I never bought it. I don't know why, but, you know. And I was getting my custom Kratos bust, the life size, which ended up getting canceled on me. So I was like, you know what? This is the next best thing. You know, it's a full body, awesome base. Looks really good. So let's just get this. And it was interesting because Justin Collections, another huge YouTuber, like quadruple my size. Well, way bigger than me. I think he's like 300,000 subs. He was telling me that this is better than Prime 1, which I don't think it is. But we will definitely do a side-by-side, -side, and I will let you know my opinion on that matter, Justin. Nevertheless, let's start getting some of this out. All right, so this top foam is really like basically Kratos. And then here is the base, and I think it's just two layers. So I can go ahead and get the base out, all those extra little parts, and start setting it up for you guys. Alrighty, so here's the base. On the bottom of the base, it said Elton Rodriguez. And mine didn't have an addition size. Uh, this is actually, I believe this is the prototype. Because I bought this from Bronx Collection, who commissioned it. And if memory recalls, he told me this was the prototype. I'll have to double check my messages, but... Yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is the prototype. Check out that base. Pretty big. You know, here's a sand, or hand size. You know, the ogre. So you fight these, uh, like, ogre trolls throughout the game. They're like the Norse version of a cave, tr uh, well, really a cyclops in the original God of War. You got uh, some snow theme coming out right here and here. And then rocks on the back. The base looks really cool, though. I think that's a really cool looking base. So I'm a big fan of that base already. The eyes look well painted. His expression looks cool. So I think that looks awesome. Alrighty, so this was all the extra parts that were in the bottom part of the foam. You got one of the blades of chaos, Mimir, a tree branch, horn, and a fist. So this does come with a few different swap outs. Alrighty folks, so let's go ahead and set this up. So again, here is the base. Uh, we'll probably want to put Kratos on first. So give me a moment to get him out. Okay, he's definitely pretty big looking at his body. Come on, go in. All righty, there we go, there we go. Let's go ahead and find where this tree branch goes. I believe it's right here. Wait. All right, like that. And then here is Mamir. Mamir, they actually do paint the eyes. It's not like the Prime one works as white, but Prime one also has a light up feature. Strong magnets. So this is the axe holder with the axe out. Good weight to it. So check out the axe. Yeah, this is more similar to my axe on my life-size bust, like the OG axe when you first uh, play the game. Let's 
actually. I believe it's gonna go like this. So I believe I'm supposed to put the axe in with this at the exact same time. And it kind of acts as the, the axe holder, so like that. So check that out. few bows or bows arrows uh, these are gonna go in the ogre's face And then there's two additional ones. So four total arrows. So three are kind of uh, right at the top of the forehead and the fourth, let's see, where do you go? Oh, actually, Jupiter, it's here in the eye. This wrong bigger one goes there. All right, so basically, like that uh, is how you have the different arrows. I'm going to set it up first without the Blades of Chaos because it does come with the Rage Pose. Now, my original bust was supposed to have this option. Like that. Yeah, uh, originally the plan on the bust was we do swap out blades with fists in case you want to do rage. Uh, basically like that. There is a few more parts over here as well. Holy crap, there's more arrows? What the fuck? There's another one. Thought I had them all. Wait, this is just a, a full arrow. Not a... Uh, now look at this, a bow, arrow. Additionally, this does come with a bow. Now on the prototype, they actually have you uh, putting this on Kratos. Now here's the thing, he never wore the bow, not once in the video game, not once. So to me, it just doesn't make sense that he would wear this per se so yeah I think it's supposed to like wear the bow so there we go yeah this definitely has that rage look like his skin tone is a little bit more like blood boiling red so fierce and like nah! almost going super saiyan so yeah, there you have it. Uh, then you got the the blades version. So these are the OG blades. Uh, so meaning like no, 
level one blade, so there's no like inner runes and in black, uh, like level 11 or seven or whatever. So there's that one, the other one is in here. The blades feel very good, good quality. Real metal chain. And they kind of have it so the blades or the chain can just like hang down, but typically you're gonna wanna, you know, actually they do include little things for it. blades a little unique. But yeah, there's like little holes that you kind of align it up on. They're like gonna like hold it in place sort of. Like so. I didn't even realize it on this one, so I'm gonna have to fix it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it has these like tiny little holes that you're gonna insert the chain on. Totally did not realize it. That's kind of the general look. This one just uh, kind of gathers it around there. Now the bow, I was thinking of potentially just putting it here on this piece of wood, you know, with the arrow. I mean, you can kind of do what you want, but I was thinking of just balancing it here and maybe just, you know, putting the arrow here as well, you know, like leaning it. I don't want Kratos to wear it, but I like the idea of it on the face. So the other option you do get is if you don't want to display him a mirror, you basically get this horn. So again, I don't ever remember Kratos carrying this. So this is something I'll probably just put at the back of the base as like an Easter egg. So I feel like that would be more appropriate. And these rage swap outs also have the little things for the blades. So you kind of like want to swap out the blades. I think they should have just given you two blades, frankly. Uh, swapping out blades would not be fun. All right, let's put this box away real quickly. Dive in closer on this bad boy. All right, so first check out that base. You know, again, this is completely optional. You know, if you want to display that elsewhere, you can, uh, you know, on the prototype, they kind of displayed it around that arm. But to me, I do not like that. So, yeah, overall, I like the base a lot. I think they did a really good job. Uh, the snow effect, you know, it is like a translucent resin. 
it looks really good. And then this part is not translucent, you know, but kind of has a somewhat glimmer effect to it. Yeah, and there is the swap out horn, which like I said, I'll probably just display it there. You know, but you could have him wearing it, but instead, you know, we do get this Mimir, which does have, you know, as you can see, like actually painted detailed eyes. It has all his ruins on his head. So it looks good. You know, and then in the back you have the little knife he used throughout the game, his wife's ashes, and just a pack to hold extra stuff, you know, accessories. And this armor is the original armor in the game. However, this one's slightly higher level, because level one, this would not be gold, neither would that. It's just uh, really not even a color. It's just like uh, imprint with no color. <laughs> So this is more probably like level three of this armor, you know, cause I maxed out this armor in the game. I wore it the whole, almost the whole game, but yeah. So like my bust basically ends right here, but you know, I think it would have been better if they could have did real fur instead of sculpted fur. I think that would have improved it. Now I don't think that would be too difficult, but I think that would improve the overall look of the armor uh that's the one thing i'll change everything else looks really good they also did not install or sculpt in his shield which is fine uh, my bust is exactly like that plus he hasn't used the shield when he's using the swords but they didn't sculpt it in so yeah he is super ripped skin texture you can see the scar his nipple shredded arms you know this is definitely a rage pose the way they did the red tattoo is more it's different than the prime one prime one has like fine lines where this one is not quite as much fine lines if you know what i mean and it's a mixture of the gray ash with red and then lots of veins you know like in his forehead his shoulders his bicep you know, this is definitely a rage statue. There's no swap out portrait, so there's no seam line, but there's the portrait. Let's try to zoom in here. I mean, yeah, it looks great. It's a one four scale. And I think that portrait looks really good. I can compare the prime one since that portrait technically comes off. Yeah, the way they did the blades is they have like this little connector and then, I mean, this one you could, if you wanted to like wrap it around, you sort of could, but this one kind of, although it's weird, it's kind of like magnetized right there. I need to mess around with these uh, chains a little bit more. Now, because ideally I want it to look more like that one. Generally, it wraps around his wrist four times in the game. Now that's how it's done. So check out the ogre. You know, they did apply a gloss to his mouth. The eyes look extremely good. Those are extremely good eyes. Very well painted. Yeah, and the ogre also has a very fine skin texture. The horns look good. The beard. Love the snow effect. I think it's really cool. And then here is the horn swap out. This does look very fragile, and I know that part originally broke off. You can kind of see it, and the guy glued it back. There's also a tiny bit of chip damage there, uh, you know, but, I mean, I may just put this back in the box just to not get it further damaged. The bow looks good, and it, they use a real string. They kind of just tie it around, you know, Atreus's bow, and then the arrow looks good. Really nice texture on the legs as well. I think uh, this pant texture looks really well done. The knees, the boots. Yeah, it's a great looking custom, honestly. Uh, it is one of the definitely better customs out there. Now there also is a custom Ragnarok Kratos with Atreus. Although to be honest, all the photos just look I swear, just retarded. I hate the photos they did. The concept's okay, 
Uh, it's just a weird looking statue. I'm going to wait for in hands on that one. But this is a great looking piece, no doubt. It's a great looking custom. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it next to Prime 1. Alrighty, folks. So here he is next to the Prime 1. There's obviously a huge color difference between the skin of this one. Like I said, it's much more red, way more veiny. The Prime 1's, you know, that more ash look like his look throughout the whole game. Now, I did want to show you what this is kind of referenced to. So this is what this reminds me of. Like the face looks actually very similar. As you can see, his skin tone there versus like there or, you know, his normal skin tone. It's definitely much more red. Also super veiny as well. You know, so this is really when Kratos is going rage, screaming. So of course his muscles are all ripped versus the normal look. So, yeah, I would say this definitely resembles that look more like this. Like, this is what the art looks like, just like that. As you can see, it copies that extremely good. That is where I think this shines. Uh, so, it's not your traditional Kratos. It is the Rage Kratos, 100%. He just beat this ogre, fighting for him and Atreus' life. So he is just freaked out. Now, uh, I do think Prime One's a little bit bigger. Uh, look at the bow comparison of Atreus. I think it's pretty good size. And let's look at the arrow size difference. Yeah, it looks about the same size, even the same thickness. You know, and then different colors, of course, but Atreus uses different arrows throughout the game. Uh, yeah, this one, he's a little... I mean, they're very close in size. It's like, it's extremely close. I would say Prime 1 just feels a tad thicker, if you know what I mean. A tad thicker. You know, like his waist and belly and chest and how wide his shoulders are are just a little bit thicker than that. Now, considering him being all like shredded like that i feel like it would compact his body size you know so maybe the sizing really is just absolute correct and spot on so yeah and then there of course there it is next to the bust yeah and on the bus of course you see it has that like real fur right there and then this is like the level one as you see it's like not colored in level one axe which has all these ruins and everything and this one they don't really put the detail ruins on the axe there but everything else looks really good on the axe and it definitely matches my life-size one quite well i swear this bust is the greatest thing i've ever seen uh but <laughs> This looks really good though. You know, like look at that uh, texture work right there in the belt. Check that out. Really nicely done. Yeah, and that is gold on the bust. It's actually kind of gold as well right there. That's what we were looking at. The blades are also very good quality. Uh, they feel like a good weight to them they look great they have that old look because they're you know level one blades which had this look it has some blood on it you can see blood right there and right there same thing on this one now it's coming off very subtle not super prominent which i think works Uh, he does have some grays in his beard, so it's brown and gray. You know, and then this is the prime one, which also is the open mouth portrait I have currently on. Uh, but, you know, considering that's also open mouth, I'll probably change this to the teeth grinning portrait. Because uh, I don't want them all to be the same. That's actually teeth grinning as well, the younger custom you know, and that's also the prototype as well for the ARP version, which we're going to lower, lower this in a sec to see how it looks next to this guy. Because the plan initially is to display it right here. 
you know, and I also have uh, tracking, like working tracking folks for the owner half scale Kratos busts. Uh, he shipped it to me. Uh, he still plans to refund me. He advises I've not received it yet. We're on the fifth delay, but he did ship me a half scale bust uh, as like a gift for, you know, canceling the life size on me. So we can get that and pair it with this one. Uh, I think they could pair really nicely. All right, let's lower this next to that and see how it looks in the general display. Alrighty, folks. So this is how the Kratos looks in the display. So you got uh, the two custom hyper realistic, hyper ripped Kratoses. Uh, you know, and of course this is like the the Sony display if you think about it, the three biggest things: Tomb Raider, Uncharted, God of War. You know, God of War is like kind of the transition of you know God of War, and their scaling looks very you know appropriate. Of course, this one is you know lunging up higher up on the base that one he's slightly bent at the knees but i would say the scaling looks really good between the two so yeah there you have it uh let me know what you guys think of this custom kratos uh to answer justin's question is it better than prime one no i do not think of it prime one is the ultimate kratos in my opinion uh i absolutely freaking love that prime one to death plus all the swap outs and everything but uh, as far as custom kratos's go you know for old kratos i think it's the best custom out there uh and i know that this group is making another old and young kratos custom one four scale statue there's a few other young kratos uh out there and i would actually love to get another one fourth scale young kratos and frankly a life-size bus if i ever got one uh like a could you imagine the owner Kratos bust, but young version in the same pose with a Greek themed base and full silicone blue box hyper detail. Now that is something I would probably pay $10,000 for. <laughs> I should see if uh, blue box will make that for me. I'd want it in that armor and I'd have to have his lower belt at least and all that armor above. Dude, that would be sick. Anyways, folks, uh, yeah, this Kratos is an awesome statue, though. Uh, I think it's really good. It's a great custom for sure. It's definitely impressed me. You know, there's only a few customs out there that truly are special. That is one. My custom link to rule them all is one. And I would say this is one. You know, where most other, you know, like custom statues that I generally get, like not DBZ, uh, are not as good. Uh, Dream Studios link also is a special one. Anyways, folks, that is it for the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of it in the display? Now, if we, you know, once we get the owner Kratos bus, it will not fit in this display. So like I said, I may be considering moving this Kratos with the owner bust where Resident Evil is and remove Resident Evil and lower it, you know, so you can... Uh, I mean, technically, I could just put Resident Evil there if I wanted to, but ideally, we're going to get God of War Ragnarok by Prime 1, 100%. So if we do Ragnarok there, that there, and behind it, you do this with the owner bust, I think that would look really cool. We'll figure it out when the time comes. For now, this is going to go ahead and stay here. I think it looks awesome. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.